Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Cobra Park Farm. Today we've got the uh, Coon Baylor wrapper on the back of the 7810. And uh, we're going to make some silage bales. I just need to check if everything's going to work. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Let's get the baler on, pick up down, and away we go. So we got two fields that need baling. We got this one here, field 23, and there's another field, uh, the field we mowed last time. I figured the 7810 would be pretty cool to bring out today, because uh, apparently John Deere is going to be in this game called Farming Simulator next uh, next year. I don't don't know when it releases. But apparently that's going to be a thing. Baylor's not completely full yet. Come on, fill up. You get. There we go. I'm gonna unleash two bales at a time, so I'm gonna let that bale wrap and. Uh, just bail while that's happening. Second bail, we are gonna just stay stationary while it's wrapping. First bail's done wrapping now. Second bail's about a third of the way done. And uh, I want to think we're going well and making good progress. Should get the second bail any second now. up a bit. There we go. First bale unloaded, second bale onto the wrapper. Just raise up the uh, pickup for a second. It's the second bale wrapped. We're using uh, black wrap today, by the way. In case anybody was curious, I felt like using the black wrap. Bought a few pallets of it. So, how do those bales stack up beside each other? I only see the one bale. Where's the second bale gone? Or are they... Oh, they're perfectly beside each other. That's beautiful. That couldn't have gone any better if I tried. There we go. So, if we got two bales from that head, then we should get a bale and a half-ish from this one. Roughly. And then uh, it's just up and down the field we go for a little bit, and then uh, over into the second field. We'll have to come back at some point uh, later and collect these bales, but uh, for now we can just leave them in the field. And even then there's not really a huge... Uh, it's not a huge deal if we just want to leave them in the field for a little while as well. Even, or even just store them in a field. That's bale one done there, and bale cylinder or bale chamber, I should say, ready to go again. That's an awful wide turn, John. That was way too, way too big of a turn. That yeah, that was way too big of a turn. I've missed quite a lot there, I think. So we got a wrap bale on the back of the baler. We got our second bale currently being pressed, and uh, a decent amount of the field left to go. 
I would like to think we are doing pretty well. Apart from the giant bit of grass over there that I clearly blatantly missed. back a bit so that I'm not rolling into grass when I unload the second bale. Just going to inch this right up to the grass there. There's the second bale made and unloaded. We'll get to see how well we did on uh, actually the next pass. So here we go. And I think I've done pretty well again. I yeah that's not as perfect as the first set but uh, pretty nicely separated so that I'm well, just nicely together, I guess, so that I'm not running around the field forever looking for them uh, when I'm stacking. Which, by the way, I'll probably do off-camera or have some sort of uh, time-lapse set up. I'll try and find a bigger battery for the GoPro and, or just bring several with me. I do have a few batteries lying around. God, I'm going to have to come to a complete stop almost immediately in this row. Come on. There we go. Bill chamber is ready again. It looks like we're going to get five and a bit bales off this field. And we'll just carry the chambered bale over into the next field with us. Um, I will drop the bale that's currently sat in the back of the baler because I think it'll be a bit of... Even though it's a short drive, I think it'll be a small bit dangerous to um, be driving around with on the road with a loose bale um, on the back of the baler, so I will just drop it off in a second. In fact, I can drop it off as I go now. There we go. Bail unloaded. And now we just get to go. Now we just have to go up into the other field and do the bail image again. I think we did uh, pretty well getting through that field in only about 10 minutes. We can raise the pickup and turn the bailer off. Um, go the beacon lights. And we're not really going to go far here, but I do need to uh, just. Are you go? Hey. Are you going to pay for that? Stop honking your horn. Are Are you going to pay for the damage you just did to my baler? just rammed into my baler. I have my... Are you blind? Not as blind as you! Tom dee tom dee tom dee tom dee tom Something about karma And revenge and karma 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 chameleon There we go And now we will punish him further. There we go. Perfect. Hope you're happy, Captain Impatient. Hope you're really happy. I'm going a bit fast, aren't I? There we go. 
There we go. Hope I... See how fast you're going now that you've been impatient. Right, off we go into the field. I'm not vindictive. <laughs> he deserved that. Let's let's be fair. He de he deserved that for ramming my baler and then deciding to honk at me. He also, to be fair, probably deserved to be rear-ended for being so impatient. Um, maybe the guys that showed up afterwards didn't deserve it as much, but I'm sure they were impatient at some point, so it's fine. There we go. I'm turning the beacons off. We're in the field now. Pick up down, and away we go. I don't I don't get why people are that impatient. Like I pulled up, the hazards were on, I literally like it wasn't as if I'd slammed on my brakes or anything. He just decided that his brakes weren't gonna work today, apparently. I even checked to see if there was room before uh before pulling out into into the, the line of traffic and there was enough room for him to slow down because he could blatantly see the big old John Deere tractor coming out. But no! Mr. I've got an American truck for some reason decides I'm too good for all of this and just tries to drive straight through a baler. Which, by the way, probably costs more than his house. That's bail one done. Bail chamber's good to go. Second bail's done now. And we go with the pickup down again, and off we go. Luckily, this field's big enough that I'll be able to see. From probably over here, how I did with that pair, that was pretty good. That's a uh, nice little grouping on those two. I'm hoping the pickup's wide enough for <laughs> this grass, by the way. It, oh, it is, if only just. That's actually really convenient. We should get um, more than five bales out of this field, what do you think? But, yeah, I'm obviously I'm not 100% sure, but I think five bales is um, going to be beaten by this field. And seeing as we mowed this one last time, I kept it for second this time around. The other field would have been a lot easier to mow in a single video, I think. Um, but uh, I enjoy mowing a lot, so I don't. I didn't really mind. Uh, going into the other field and giving it a bit of a once-over. Okay. There we go. I'm going to reverse back a small bit more. As opposed to reverse forward. Well done. We'll load bail number one. Or number three, whichever you prefer. I better not see a bail. Just... Off down in the distance, rolling away. Thought I did for a second. No, that's just the back of the bailer. Oh, now I do. Dang it. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> that didn't go to plan. Both of those bales are just rolling off into the hedges. Uh, I hate this field, I really do. That said, I think I need to buy um, a new meadow, so I'll get talking to the uh, landowners around here and see what I can get worked out. 
There's a nicely sized one, um, actually pretty much where we pulled up to close the gate for uh, to the first field. That There's a really nice meadow in there that I'd like to get, but uh, I haven't spoken to the landowner, I don't know what he or she is like. I said, wow, we're already up to the fifth, well, we've already got the fifth bale done. We're already kind of ready for bale six to pop. That's um, kind of unnerving. <laughs> that kind of hints that we might get 20 plus bales out of this field. Also, just a, a small out of character thing, and I know I don't do these much in the realistic series. It annoys me that the um, the net wrap for these coon bales, you can see it there, has the black lines, but the bales, t the bale texture when they come out of the the uh, baler doesn't. It doesn't have the darker lines that you'd kind of expect um, from a bale a bale twine like or bale netting like that. It's kind of a little picky thing, but it annoys me. So if you're using, if the, if you're wondering why, by the way, that I'm using the uh, black wrap, it's because there's a cold summer forecast, and uh, I don't particularly want the. Uh, bales getting too cold. Which sounds bizarre, you know, you want the bales, you know, they're bales, they're inanimate objects, it doesn't matter what temperature they are. Um, it's kind of different with fermenting silage bales, you actually want them to be at kind of a good internal temperature. Elsewise, the silage won't ferment. And that ain't good. You want that silage fermented, otherwise it's just rotten grass. And... Uh, yeah, that, that's not something you want to be giving to your cows. Or anything, really. So you can see it did do an extra little headlandy bit around the, uh, the telephone pole in the middle of the field. Oh, these bales are gonna just. Yeah, these bales are gonna roll off as well, so. I'm just accepting their fate now. So the reason, by the way, that I'm doing them in pairs is because I guess it's a bit easier than just dropping them one by one. At least, you know, when it comes to picking them up, they'll be paired up. And if I use some sort, of, if the, the I know the um, Ursus set a round bale stacker, I don't know how useful it would be. Um, but when it comes to like moving them around. I, I can just get a three point, um, you know, bale fork and pop two of them on at a time. Instead of uh, just having the one bale at any given time, which you'd get with pretty much any bale fork normally if, because you'd be dropping the bales individually. Oh my god, how many bales are you going to get out of this field? This is going to be. I was kind of concerned that, oh, I might need another meadow because there might not be enough bales. So far, we're doing pretty well. I estimate that for uh, the 25 ish cows we're getting, I'll need about 75. Very. This is very rough maths. About 75 silage bales. Um, and about the same. Of, yeah, about the same of hay. Um, so if I can get up to, like, 50 now, um, even if I got another meadow, that'll definitely get me up to the 75 by summer, or by the, the end of the autumn, because I'll, I'll want to be wintering them on, on bales. Um, and if all this fails, I know that the, the shop is selling, um, bags of feed at the moment. 
They tend to join like the winter and well, they tend to join like all year round, but they're most useful in the winter and spring when maybe you're running low on feed. Um, as kind of a last resort, they are obviously kind of expensive because it's your own fault for running out of cow feed for your cows for the most part unless there's been like a ridiculously harsh and long winter where it snows in April or something um, then yeah it's kind of acceptable to run out of feed because nobody expects it to snow in April ever But we are doing pretty well, and uh, we're running short on time. It looks like the GoPro only has about 10 minutes of um, battery left. So I am fully aware of that. Is this the first bale or the second bale in this pair? I think it's the first. Yes, it was the first, because you, if it was the second, then the bail door wouldn't have opened. There it is, locked again. Chamber's good. So you can probably see why I have a baler wrapper as opposed to a baler and a wrapper. It's just a bit easier to get it all done in one pass. Um, just makes life a tiny, tiny, tiniest, tiny bit easier. Instead of bailing one pass and then um, maybe even getting in a contractor to wrap or getting in a contractor to do both, which would probably be, you know, cheaper in the short term for as many bales as I'm making, but I had the money so I figured why not. I didn't have the money, I took it alone, but no, nah, who's gonna care? I'll pay it back when I get the harvest and it'll be fine. That bale is gonna be buttered right up against the baler, I'm sure of it. Right, it was but right up against the bear. Ooh, second bale's done. There we go. And the second bale has decided to follow me down the field. Wonderful. Don't you love it when you've got a really overly friendly bale that decides to roll down the field after you? Nothing quite like it. Seriously, you can stop rolling, please. You're supposed to stay with your friend, not just roll away like that. Ooh, GoPro autofocus, please. Be nice. I think, uh... I think we did a decent amount today. Got one full ba field bailed, one full bale fielded. Um, we got a full field bailed. We got. I'm gonna say about halfway through this one, maybe a bit farther. Um, and you know, this field's only gonna take another 10 or so minutes, maybe. Uh, maybe a bit longer, because these are the. Uh, Oh, we got nowhere near halfway done with this field, because I've just realised these are the much, much longer rows. Um, maybe a third of the way? We got a decent amount into this field. It, it, it shouldn't take too much longer, even though these are the, uh, the much longer windrows. Which is, is less turning now. He says, hopefully. Um, there we go. So I think 
I am gonna call this a video. Um, yeah, we got a decent amount done. I've got a lot left to do. Um, I, I don't know when those pigs are arriving. I need those pigs to arrive. I want to start getting slurry for the uh, the autumn for spring next year and right now I'm really starting to get a bit antsy that I won't have any that's my major concern is like I, I want to have uh, something that I can spread on the fields that isn't fertilizer I'd like to get this farm going organic if I can but I don't know if I can afford it Um, I guess we'll find out over time. The delay with the pigs is annoying, though. The sooner the better. But, uh, yeah, this is going to do it for today. I'll uh, be back, hopefully, with a video of the pigs arriving. Hopefully soon. And uh, we'll take care of them when they get here so uh, yeah thank you all very much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time